friends, welcome back to Auto Nation All Access. Romy Bean is here. Romy, you are bringing a little uh, class and culture to the show tonight. We're talking artwork? Artwork and sports, right? We don't often think of them together. One is aggressive, intense, the other delicate and beautiful, right? So what happens when the world of sports and art collide? Well, we found the answer at Broncos headquarters where one artist has added some color to the weight room and given some of the players memorable masterpieces. I want to look gritty and beautiful at the same time. Gabe Richardson is known as the artist to the athletes. He's created masterpieces for superstars like Peyton Manning and Brock Lesnar. What sets Gabe apart is his ability to truly understand what athletes want. Having played and then just being around the guys a lot, it definitely gives me an edge. And uh, there's not a lot of artists that I've met that even play any sports, let alone football. In college, Gabe traded his cleats for a paintbrush. But his brother Luke, the strength and conditioning coach of the Denver Broncos, brought Gabe back into the sports world. My brother Luke started training uh, athletes and he was working with D'Angelo Hall at the time. And he said, uh, you know, my brother's an artist. You, uh, and he said, well, have him painting something. So I did a small painting for D'Angelo and then he ordered three more. Literally have not stopped since. These days, Gabe is somewhat of a staple at the Broncos facility. He designed the team's Iron Sharpens Iron logo and created a masterpiece in the team's weight room. A mural that reminds the players they are the select few chosen to represent Broncos country. They wanted to just do something that was about the city and let the players know, you know, kind of what they're playing for and more about the fans than the team even. Gabe's most recent project, Aptitude for Destruction, features portraits of six past and present Denver Broncos. The paintings dive deep into the player's psyche, boldly depicting what motivates them to take the field. I started with my faith because, you know, that's what I hold first, and my family, and then I just started looking at the different pieces that brought me to where I am, and, you know, some of the mentality that I play with and other people say that I have. Each player was interesting to me because the different positions had totally different imagery going through their mind, which is what you would expect. You can tell the difference between offense and defense sometimes. I think they're, the offensive guys have to have a way more controlled attitude. You're not just pursuing. You have to, it's way more um, cat-like. As a kicker, Brandon told me through his mind, it was more about staying mentally sharp and focusing then some of the other guys are more have more aggressive imagery you know like you can imagine he has to keep his mind clear just like a professional athlete gabe pours his heart and soul into his craft he aims to create the very best for sports elite i want to go above and beyond i don't want it to be just a photograph because these guys have access to photos um, i want it to be a piece of art you know i want to put my own imprint on it so through color and design i make sure that it stands out from photos. And the players love what Gabe has created for them. It's just cool to, how crazy good he was with all the all the work that he did with all the guys, so just cool to be a part of it. It turned out amazing and uh, a lot of people are going to enjoy it. It was exciting stuff there and it's cool because uh, Gabe was saying he wasn't sure if he was going to get to carry on, do what he did, uh, Gary on get to do what he does under Vance Joseph because he was hired by Gary Kubiak. Vance Joseph liked him so much he said, nope, I want you to stay on and he's doing more stuff for them. And so the exhibit did close, but they did auction off some of them for charities? They did auction off five items for Denver Broncos charities, so those go back to the, to the Broncos community and all the work that the players do in the community. Very cool. Uh, Ruby, thank you very much. We're thank back.